Hey guys, it's been a minute. Um, about half a week late on posting this. Uh, well, by the time I actually get around to posting it, who knows? It's been about a week and a half since my last update, and as much as I hate to say it, I give up. I don't know what went wrong. I think uh, maybe a combination of the bugs, well, probably primarily the bugs. Uh, maybe it was too hot. I don't think it got too cold. Uh, maybe it wasn't wet enough. Maybe it was too wet. Who knows? Bottom line is these plants have had an abysmal performance. I've been starting seeds indoors for at least 20 years and never, never. This is the first time I started them outdoors. I was excited because I thought they'd get nice and big and a lot healthier in natural sunlight. But these are the absolute worst results I've ever had. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll try this again next year. Maybe not. I don't know if I'll need to. Now I'm just going to start all the seeds where they're going to end up naturally. Ladies and gentlemen, you know the cold frame, but welcome to the garden. What I did was went in dug all the good dirt out, moved it into the backyard, got down to the clay, and I needed to slope the clay away from the house to prevent water damage. Additionally, there's one downspout and two downspouts that don't really go anywhere. So we get a heavy rain, this will turn into a swimming pool. So I needed to put drainage. Unfortunately, this is all concrete. There's a driveway. This is all concrete. Concrete, 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 concrete. And that's all we got. So, I had the idea to use a water jet to drill out here, and then I could daylight in the front yard, which started to work out okay. And then I kept running into bricks and stuff. And rocks would fall down and block the uh, the hose from jetting any more water. So I concocted a rebar drill. Can't really see it now, it's covered in mud, but I took a washer, bent it, welded it to the rebar. So it was kind of a corkscrew. And that worked out really well. I got, uh, got all the way through on that. Uh, now, the other side started to do the same thing, ran into the same problem and really couldn't figure out where to meet, so I did end up having to cut a little hole in the concrete. And uh, it turns out I was really close. The uh, one end ended right about here, and the other end ended right about, right about here. So I just had to connect the two. Right now, I am embiggening the holes, so I welded a couple pieces of uh, four inch rebar here. I've got to fit a three inch corrugated drain pipe through here and a one inch irrigation tube. We are going to run one under the concrete. You can sort of see the hole that I started down there. That goes in about five feet. I've got about five feet to go. So we'll get that done. We're gonna run the corrugated drain pipe under the lip of the driveway here. Right, Bub? And uh, there isn't going to be too much of a slope, but there'll be a little enough of a slope. We'll run it under here, out here, out in the front, and we'll daylight in the grass. So this was a crazy week-long project to get this where we are today. I'm going to get that pipe in. Put a slope on this, tamp it down, and then we're going to get our good dirt back in and uh, get the garden going. I was going to put this on a time lapse, but hey, it's the next day. Spent way too much time trying to finagle this through the hole. Finally did. Get that filled in, ready for some concrete. Let it dry a little bit, but come out here and. Uh, Probably daylight right about here. But then we got this other tube and uh, electrical low voltage line. 
we're going to take up these bricks and run it all the way out there. Well, after two weeks almost of some of the most painstaking tunneling and chiseling and uh, digging and moving and scratching and whatever, finally, finally got tubes coming from downspouts. Now, I know that's not right. Don't give me any grief. We'll fix it. It's temporary. We get that cemented in. We got everything running over here. Got this connected. Runs under the concrete. Had to cut this and uh, pulled everything through there. Runs over here. And we daylight here. And don't give me any grief about that. I know that's not the proper daylight situation, but that's what I got for now. And we got the wire run. We got the irrigation tubing run. Uh, we'll get that piped in a little bit later. But for now, what are we doing? Um, uh, I don't know what you hear you saying. We are leveling our cold frame. Sloping out this dirt and grading it so the water runs away from the house. And then we have about three or four yards of good topsoil to bring back in here. Let's get to it. All right, we're gonna call it there for the evening. We got the clay sloped down from the house, tamped down, kind of leveled out. Good enough. Got a, about a yard or so of dirt. Uh, good topsoil put over this, spread out. You can see it's kind of chunky. 
we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, I've got about another yard and a half or so of good compost and then another two yards probably of topsoil that I'm going to put on top of that. Should fill this thing in right up to the brim and uh, give us a good, good start for our plants. All right, here it is. All raked out and mostly leveled. We put up some uh, little vine holders. We're going to do acorn squash, spaghetti squash, and butternut squash. I'm going to hang those guys up there. You can see my plan. We've got tomatoes on the left, lettuce and all that good stuff in the front, some peppers in the front, and then uh, all of our good perennials over here on the right we gotta figure this out so everybody's getting really excited I grew a James from a flower pot let's see see this empty flower pot I wonder if I could grow a McKenna from it oh I guess McKenna comes in a wheelbarrow <laughs>
All right, got everything in. Then a uh, massive rainstorm came, good soaking rainstorm, and uh, had to take a little break. Got this all cleaned up, and uh, plants are in. We'll see how they do. Well, it's been a few weeks. I don't remember how many, but uh, welcome to my weed patch. Let's get this taken care of so you can get a better view. Well, there's that patch. I'll get to the tomatoes here in a minute, but uh, got a few weeds. Um, things fared a lot better than I hoped. Yeah, I left the weeds there because I just kind of dumped out what I had left of the seeds on the things that I didn't expect to grow. And I wanted to give them a fighting chance, so I gave them that. And things are looking okay. I think I got some bum seeds, though. You can see I got zero oregano or thyme. My cilantro's barely making it, but the fennel's popping up uh, behind my broken pipe there. Yeah, not looking too shabby. All right, since this is probably the last video of this garden before harvest, I just wanted to give you kind of a final what it looks like. This is uh, mid-July here. It is hotter than the snake's ass in a wagon rut. And uh, been struggling keeping everything wet enough. But uh, things seem to be doing well. You can see I found a bunch of uh, stuff at the garden center. The, uh, I think that's the spaghetti squash is going nuts. The uh, acorn and butternut squash not doing as well. But uh, they should explode here pretty soon. Anyway. Whatever this is that popped up, um, oh, it's doing great. Never seen anything like it before. Uh, if you know what it is, leave me a comment, because, uh, I don't know, it's kind of cool. Anyway, yeah, that's it.